What's up you guys? Today we're going to be talking about my favorite particular trio of exercises to do when it comes to the uh, lower body. The lower body is like, like I'm talking below the hamstring and the quads and all the other stuff. Like the calf, the soleus, and the shins, particularly training all those in the same workout is not that difficult. So when I look at exercises to do, it's really just a matter of knowing what you want. Like sometimes I use this slant board right here and other times I'll just use my regular body weight. Well, it's always my body weight, but I'll use like the floor. For this one, I use the floor because I feel like the, the slant board is kind of like a slight progression in some way. But at the same time, let me show you guys. So the first one is definitely just a regular calf raise. If you watch the videos that I made in college, you'd understand how important these are. Pushing into the ground, try to be on the balls of the feet. Slow and control going down. Yeah. And then the next one, train different muscles. It might it might look a little a little questionable but this one is the bent knee calf raise this is training muscles particularly in the soleus i don't think i have enough range to necessarily hang on i think i can get it right here on this yeah that's a good angle so right here i'm i'm grabbing onto my dresser by the way for those of you who are wondering how i'm getting this knee bent so going down slightly right about here is good enough same thing I'm telling you take acknowledging muscles that you don't use is better off than is going to leave you better off than leaving them there and seeing what happens because once they tear it's like how much of it was because of oh was this bound to happen because i'm always acting act, always active or how much of it was bound to happen because of the fact that you weren't training it at all you know so the next one i think this is the least common one i think the internet may, may have popularized this a little bit more but this is the wall tibialis raise this is i call these shin ups because that's basically what they are <laughs> So, hang on, let me try to get a good angle on this wall right here. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So you're gonna stand at the wall, you're gonna walk your feet, you're gonna put, you're gonna lean back at the wall, you're gonna walk your feet out, maybe four, five, six, seven steps in front of you, and then you're gonna try to do what, if y'all if y'all remember the video about toe points, you're gonna dorsiflex your feet. Boom, pulling those feet off the ground. And after a decent warm up, these are these are just basic things. This is usually how I start my Monday. I'm pretty I'm particularly late today because I kind of woke up at a weird time somehow. I don't know, but um, for the most part, three sets of ten. I particularly prefer to put a minute rest in between because in the future I plan to increase the reps, and that minute rest will actually mean a little bit less after a certain period of time so it'll have to change but for you guys i feel like a minute rest will be just enough for you to get enough rest in if not increase it okay not everybody's body is the same some people take more than two minutes to recover to recover from a a particular round of just 10 reps of a calf raise a bent knee calf raise and a tibialis raise or a shin up for a better word other than that hope you guys enjoyed have a good one.